Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and today I would like to talk about two skills that are crucially important to QA engineer. Now you can start working on those skills even before you start working in the profession, and I want you to be aware of them because they're going to help you tremendously. So skill number one is ability to do your own research, uh, find solutions by yourself. I think this is largely where the engineering part comes from in QA engineer profession. A lot of times you will be faced with issues that you will not know how to solve. So in order to solve this, your approach is going to be to find solution online, uh, read company documentation, and then after that, if you're still stuck, go and ask your colleagues exactly in that direction. So you should start with some researching, find a solution by yourself. The referring to the documentation and searching effectively through the documentation, trying to find an answer there. Now, if there's no documentation, if there's no solution online, you did your homework, you did your research, then you go and ask your colleague. This is gonna develop into a skill from your profession that you're actually gonna carry in your day-to-day -day life. After 10 plus years in QA career, if someone asks me, hey, Alex, is this or this true, or this is this such, I'll, if I don't know, I'll tell them, I don't know, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll go and search, I'll find the answer. Uh, if someone presents me with uh, information, the first thing I do, if I'm not sure about this information, I go and do search on it and find out is it true or not. So I think uh, you can start applying this skill right now if you have questions that you know you want an answer to, but there's no one to ask, or instead of asking those questions, go and try to find a solution online. Try to figure it out yourself. This is gonna go in any job as a QA engineer because first, there's there's always a lack of documentation. There are rarely companies that document everything really well. So you have to go and search things online and figure things out as first. The second thing, you can't learn everything. That's impossible. The tech field is changing so fast. New technologies are always added. Products gonna be different. And it's a completely different thing if you test wearable devices, for example, like Fitbit, and then you go and work for Tesla as a QA engineer, or you go for a software company that creates mobile apps, or it's gonna be always different. So no matter how long you're gonna be in the career, every day gonna be new day, We're gonna you're gonna learn new things. It's just part of it. The educational process is gonna be part of your profession. So you have to do research all the time, every day. And sometimes you won't have anything online. Uh, that's understandable because some documentations are like proprietary and then you'll have a lack of documentation at work. I mean, that is appropriate to go and check uh, with knowledgeable people at your work, what they think about it, how it should work, uh, what it should be doing. And then maybe even start writing your own documentation. But ability to do research is very crucial. The second very important skill that you should be working on as a QA engineer if you want to be successful is attention to detail. Because attention to detail is going to help you find issues. Uh, it's going to help you to work with acceptance criteria, find mismatches. So essentially, uh, with great attention to details, you will be able to find bugs and you will be able to help uh, to work on the acceptance criteria and the requirements if you find some mismatches. And ideally, when you're doing verification of the stories or the tickets, you want to go line by line, can go through the each requirement, compare if it's actually matching, if it's the program is actually doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, and if you're just gonna skip through it, you're gonna miss some important parts, you're gonna miss some uh, acceptance criteria, and then at the end, you're gonna introduce some bugs, maybe unintentionally, but just kind of not testing as it was intended to work, right? So attention to details and the ability to do the research going to get you very far as a QA engineer, and you can actually start practicing those skills and working on those skills, making them a habit already. Okay, uh, so hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you like the video, subscribe, and bye-bye.